This is really just a short video to explain all the different scenarios for wiring four-way, three-way, and two-way lighting legs. Again, more of an explanation than a how-to, so you can follow along or jump ahead to the lighting situation that suits your needs. We're going to begin with a four-way switch leg uh, with the power coming to the box where the light is. So you've got your panel represented here. These are going to all be considered as 15 amp circuits, so I'm using 14 gauge wire. So you've got the panel, you've got 14 2 wire from the panel to the light. You've got 14 2 wire from the light to the first of the three switches on the switch leg. And then between the switches, you use 14 3 wire. So there's a three-way switch at each end and a four-way switch in the middle. Note also these black lines because in many of these switch legs, the white wire is going to be hot. In other words, you can see that it's connected to the power wire coming out of the panel. And so this is in order for you to recognize it in each of these three switch boxes as a potentially hot wire. So to follow the power along, it would come out of the panel on the black wire, switch over to white, be fed into the switch, and then start going through what we call the travelers, the black and red wires. And as you see, as it goes through these travelers, it finds its way back out of the switch leg on the black or hot wire, and the light comes on. Now the beauty of a four-way switch leg is that any of the three switches can be thrown and you can see if I throw the first switch off and on, it turns the light off and on. If I throw the second switch off and on, it turns the light off and on. Again, you can freeze this video at any point to sort of trace the where the power is and where it isn't. If I throw the third switch off and on, it turns the light off and on. And then every combination in between. In other words, here I'll, I'm about to show if you have thrown that that switch and then the next switch that also turns it off and on and if i've thrown those two switches and the next switch it also turns it off and on that's why three-way switches and four-way switches don't say off and on because the handle could be up or down at any given time and the lights could be off or on I want to take a look now at a four-way switch with the power coming into the first switch rather than at the light. Uh, in this scenario, you don't have to mark the white wire as a hot wire because it stays neutral all the way. So you come out of the panel on the black wire, enter the first three-way switch, and then you're into the travelers and you can see this as it goes through this system, comes out of that final switch as a black wire and turns the light on. Uh, just like the other system, any single switch off or on can turn the lights off or on at any of the locations and any combination of the switches can turn the light off or on. So the four-way system works just the same whether you're running the power to the light and running the three switches as an independent switch leg or running the power to the switch. A third way to do this would be to have the power coming to the, you could say, the third switch or the end switch in the line of the three switches. Maybe you'd say the closest switch to the light. This works very similar 
to the scenario we just looked at. The power comes into that first switch, is sent to the other end of the switch leg on the white wire, and it works the same way as in the previous scenario. The final way I want to look at for a four-way system is to have the power come in in the middle switch, you could say, or in the four-way switch. I honestly wouldn't recommend this if you're able to get to one end of the switches or the other or to get the power to the light because the crowd in the box for the four-way switch is pretty huge since there are so many wires coming and going. Uh, it makes for a very, very crowded box. But if you want to just follow the dotted line, so to speak, in this scenario, again, it works like any four-way system. Any independent switch can turn the light off or on. In all of these, let me suggest, if you're just curious to know where is this power going, freeze the frame or pause the video and take a look at each scenario independently. Now I want to look at three-way switches, and there's really just a couple of ways to do this. The, here's the scenario with the power again coming to the light fixture box and the pair of three-way switches operating as a switch leg. Again, the power leaves that light fixture box on the white wire marked with the black tape, enters into the pair of switches, goes through the travelers, and comes back to the light fixture on the black or hot wire. And uh, again, as in a four-way system, only with three-way switches, there's only two switches available. If you throw either switch, the light will come off and on. And if you've thrown one switch and throw the other switch, either way, the light will come off and on. Works very much like the four-way system. It's just a three-way system. Four ways, you could have as many as you want four-way switches between the two ends and have multiple, multiple switches. Now here's a three-way lighting scenario where the power comes into the first switch box instead of into the light fixture. And again, as we saw in one of the other scenarios, the white wire remains a common wire throughout this whole system. But here it leaves the panel on the black wire, enters that first three-way switch. If you throw the switch either way, the light comes off or on. If you throw one switch and then the other switch either way, the light comes off and on. And it works just the same as the four-way system. But this is just the scenario for a three-way. Here's a two-way scenario just to maybe illustrate that all uh, any switch leg is doing, whether it be a single two-way switch, a pair of three-way switches, or three or more four-way, the scenario is you're basically just interrupting the black wire. And I showed there a couple of pieces of tape on that white wire. Again, the white wire is leaving that light box as a hot wire, heads over to the switch, and the switch is simply interrupting the black wire between the panel and the light. It's as simple as that. That's all a two-way switch is doing. The other way to wire a two-way switch is to run the power to the switch instead of to the light fixture. And again, as in other scenarios like this, the white wire remains common. It goes right through that switch box on onto the light fixture, and the switch just interrupts the black wire. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe and Thank you for watching.